Wakaru, probably the most underrated piece of software that is free and available on Steam. So today let's dive into Wakaru, see what it takes to set it up and well, try it out. My name is Anubis Lives. I am your VTuber Senpai. On this channel, we go over things VTubing and VTubing related. So if you happen to like this video, please consider smashing that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you don't mind helping me out with that, that'd be great. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing we got to do is open up Steam, type in Wakaru, W-A-K-A-R-U. We're going to click on it. I already have it installed, but basically go here, click download. Again, it's free, so nice and simple. Let it install. And well, let's jump into the program. All right, so let's open up Wakaru. We got default settings here. Fantastic display one, that's okay. Hit play. It opens up. We scroll all the way down, hit confirm. And this is our model selection here on the top left hand side. And as you see, there's no import button. So how do we get our VRM model in here? Well, that's actually kind of sort of simple. We got to close it first. Open up this PC, local disk C or wherever you have Steam installed. Head to program files 86. Steam. Steam apps. Common, Wakadu, Models, VRM, and we're just going to paste our VRM file into this location. Now, you, if you have Unity, you can absolutely upload your VRM or your model through Unity to Wakadu. I have seen people do that, but if you already have a VRM file, this is the easiest way of doing it. All right, so now let's reopen up our program. Hit the play. Skip all the way through this. Hit there. Oh, there we are. Our VRM model. We're going to click it. And now we're going to hit start. There we are. Let's play with some settings. OK, so now that our other self is put away, we need to select a webcam. If you have multiple webcams, we have to head to system, select webcam, select the proper one. Everything else we could really leave default here. Head back to controls. And on the bottom right, we actually have to hit this button that looks like a movie reel and a webcam to initialize our webcam. Click it. There we are. Let's jump into the next steps. Now that we have the webcam portion set up, what's some other things we can play with? Well, to set this up with OBS, let's get that step kind of ready. We got to turn off new skybox background. We got to have our green screen. Scroll down. We have glasses correction. Typically, this is set off, but my friends with glasses, my fellow glasses wearers, there's no other software that has this. So really, this is fantastic. I love it. Smack that on. We're covered. It can like properly detect through the glasses now. We're okay. Tracking frequency. I would keep this up if we lower it. As you can see, it's very, very laggy. Just shoot it right up. Just leave it. Avatar settings, auto blink. I would actually suggest that you turn that on. Um, you don't have to, you really don't. But I like to have auto blink on because sometimes I forget how to blink. So another cool thing about this program is well, we have a built-in hands control, which means you don't need something like a leap motion if you could get this to work correctly. All you gotta do is put up your hand, simplify sync, you know, have it choose your hand color, uh, the dot in the proper area, and well, play around with it. See if you can get it to work. I really couldn't get it to work for me. That's probably because of why my model is just janky here and there. So what I would do is just go around Play with some settings, see what you can get to work, and we'll really go from there. But another cool thing we got is we got the facials tab where we have all sorts of different facials. Like I said, auto blink, you could blink once or twice or, you know, wink. 
if you want to. You got lips. You got full face. So you got your joy. You got your angry, sorrow, fun, etc., etc., etc. You got your different hotkey associations that you could set up. Honest to God, this program is just so good and it's free. So definitely play around with it. See what you get to work. And well, maybe, you know, don't have your elbow sticking up for no apparent reason. Okay, so now that we're in OBS, we need to set up this program. I'm going to assume you have your scenes and your sources already set up, but let's add our Wakaru source by hitting the plus, game capture, type in the program name for the name. We're going to go to mode, capture specific window. Then we're going to hit our program. There we are. Hit OK. We're going to minimize this or make it a little bit smaller or to the size we want. There we go. We're going to right click again, hit filters. And we should be good there. We're going to hit plus. We're going to hit chroma key. And because chroma key defaults to green screen, we're already knocked out of the image. Well, the green is. But we're going to knock ourselves out of the image now by hitting the plus prop slash pad right I'm going to put down 450 or whatever you think is going to work just play around with the numbers that is it we are now set up in OBS and now that the program is installed how do we say the program name is it Wakaru is it Wakaru let me know down below again my name is Anubis Lives I Stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. PST. So come on by, say hi, let's talk about anime, gaming, streaming, whatever. And well, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.